welcome to my channel here i'll be showing you how you can construct a triangle that is similar to a given triangle but on a different perimeter how to construct a triangle that is similar to a given triangle but on a different uh, perimeter so first of all we need to construct the given triangle so i'm going to uh, draw a horizontal line here so I will draw a horizontal line here of any length like this. So, and then I will take the base of the given triangle. I will take the base as 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters. So this is 50 millimeters here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I will call this point. This is point A here. And this is point B as the base of the given triangle. So I will take my compass and take a measurement of uh, 45 millimeters. 45 millimeters. So I put the pinpoint, taking this 45 millimeters, I put the pinpoint at B. And I will draw an arc like this. So then I will take a measurement of 35 millimeters 35 millimeters so i put the point on my compass here and i will draw an arc here so this will be point c of the given triangle so this is point c of the given triangle so i'm going to join this together i'm going to join this together like this okay so join bc together so i've joined ac so I'll join BC together like this. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I will take my compass, so put the point at A and extend it to C. So I'm going to draw an arc like this. Okay, so this arc, it touches this line A, B extended. It touches at this point. I'll call this point, I'll call it point G. Okay, so the next is I'll put the point at B here and extend it to C, extend it to C like this, and I will draw an arc, okay? So this arc, it touches A, B extended, it touches at this point, so I will call this point, this point E here, okay? So let's say the perimeter of, the perimeter of this uh, triangle, now we have 50 plus 45, that is 95, so 95 plus, uh, plus 35, that's 130. That is 130. Let's say the perimeter of the triangle that is similar to this given triangle is 100 millimeters. Is 100 millimeters. So what I need to do is to take my C square, 30 degrees C square, and draw a line from this point D here. So I draw a line from here, like this. So I draw a line from here. So I need to extend it. Okay. So since the perimeter of the triangle that is similar to this triangle is 100 millimeters, so I will take a measurement of 100 millimeters on this line. On this line, so this is 100. So I will call this point, I will call it point F. So this is point F. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join EF together. So I will join EF together like this. Okay, so then I will take my C square, set it on line EF. Then I will shift the C square to point B. So shift it to point B. So let me set it well. So I'll shift to point B like this. So then to point B, I will draw this line like this. Then I will also set it along this line. So I will shift it to point A like this so the lines are parallel okay so this point i'm going to call this point i'll call this point point x here and i'll call this point i'll call it point y okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my compass put the pinpoint of the compass at x and extend it to d i will extend to point d here okay i will extend to point d and i will draw an arc like this okay so then I will put the pinpoint of my compass at Y and extend it to F. Extend it to F and I will draw another arc like this. Okay. So these arcs, 
So they intersect at this point here. This is where they intersect. So I'm going to call this point, I'm going to call it point. So Z, so this is point Z. So I'm going to join X, Z together like this. So X, Z together. And I will also join Y, Z together like this. Okay. Then I will make this line, I will make it a thick line. Okay. So this triangle is similar to the given triangle. Is similar to the given triangle. So this is how to construct a triangle that is similar to a given triangle uh, on a different perimeter. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.